Hello everyone, myself Nishan Dahare, currently working as a research and development engineer at Tempson Instruments. So I am the one who is handling this thermal profiling system project. Uh, today we will be giving a brief introduction about our webinar, uh, our thermal profiling system, which will be talking about what is this thermal profiling system and what are the applications in which these thermal profiling system can be used. So before going in depth uh, in thermal profiling system, I would like to introduce about my company Tempson Instruments. So Tempson's business area in 2021 is approximately 53% of sales revenue came from temperature sensors, 33% of sales revenue come from cables department and 14% of sales revenue come from heating solutions. We have like for temperature measurement instruments, AST and EQOP for thermal images and marathon heaters for heating solutions. Okay. So we are spreaded globally approximately in uh, three global locations. We, uh, we have total 600 uh, number of employees and until now we have uh, applied nine patents and our year on year growth is approximately 25% which is very huge. Now our key product is uh, key, uh, thermocouples temperature me measurement instruments where we have contact type and non-contact type of uh, sensors. For contact type of sensors we have we provide thermocouple RTT and thermo wells and for the non-contact type uh, temperature measuring instruments we uh, provide uh, uh, thermal imagers and uh, pyrometers. Our next uh, key product is the cable from cables. We also provide thermocouples and RTD cables, high temperature cables, spatial cables, instrumentation uh, signal cable and lead wire and hookup wires. We also do provide different types of heater from cartridge heaters to mineral insulated heaters to laboratory heaters and various type of heater alloys we also do in heating solutions. We also do provide our calibration services uh, and we are situated in India at four, four destinations, Udaipur, Bangalore, Vadodara. So this is our basic idea for thermal profiling system. So uh, temperature monitoring plays an important role in, in every product quality. So you can say from glass annealing, glass toughening to uh, steel reheat treatment processes. In each and every processes, temperature uniformity survey plays an important role. And generally in the conventional process, uh, TUS of furnace is done, but in order to get the actual, actual profile of the product, TUS of the product is very important. So in this thermal profiling system, we provide two types of things. One is the data logger and uh, another one is the barrier box. So here in the figure you see, you can see four types of images. So first, uh, right one is the image of the data logger. Second one is the schematic view of our barrier box. And third one is the uh, TUS curve of, of one of our tests in, uh, in our software. And third one is a just brief description how we are using these various systems for uh, product temperature. So what we do is we put this data logger inside this uh, uh, barrier box and we put this whole system inside the furnaces so that a person can can get actual actual correct temperature of their product uh, uh, along the time at higher temperature environments so basically what happens is that generally the data logger available in the market cannot sustain temperature above 100 degrees celsius but in high temperature environments say above 150 degrees celsius up to 1000 degrees celsius uh, data logger cannot sustain these kind of temperatures so what we do is we have made an, a thermal barrier system in which we put this data logger and which protects the data logger from high temperature ambient environment. So in all, until now we have developed four systems and each system has their own specialty and own a, a application domain. So I will briefly describe all those domains in the next few slides and also I will describe how our software is getting these information and what are the functions of a data logger. Basically our data logger here named is a smart track 10 which can store up to 50,000 data per channel. So you can say approximately 5 lakh data can be stored in this data logger. So this is our schema, picture of our data logger. So here total number of thermocouple is 10. We, we have different ty universal type of thermocouple connection to this. We provide accuracy of 0.5 degree Celsius and resolution of 0.1 degree Celsius. As I have previously mentioned that 50,000 readings can be stored in this data logger at, e at a single channel and the sc scanning rate from as small as small to 100 millisecond to one hour is achievable. We also provide communication uh, to the software via USB communication. 
in this data logger there are two types of variants one is the 70 degree rechargeable version and 100 degree non rechargeable version basically in the application where temperature is 800 degree celsius or 600 degree celsius we provide 100 degree non rechargeable battery version so the data logger can sustain at higher temperature also up to 100 degree celsius while in rechargeable case we provide up to 70 degree celsius battery model in this data logger we have different types of triggering modes also like one is the simple button switch on switch off mode another one is the rising and falling temperature mode and third one is the time and trigger mode so in the rising and falling temperature mode suppose your uh, in your operation you want to start uh, you want to your uh, data to store from 200 degree celsius and stop at 500 degree celsius but your process goes from 30 degree to 800 degree celsius or 1000 degree celsius so what you can do is put a cutoff temperature at 200 degree celsius and off cutoff temperature at 500 degree celsius so data logger will start only above 200 degree celsius and automatically off at 500 degree celsius we also have different types of led indications data logger uh, like charging uh, low battery communications and start and stop trigger mode so when the data logging starts the led indication starts blinking and when it is off then the led led switches off so in this figure, you can see two types of a barrier boxes. These two barrier boxes are for different applications. So basically, a basic ther uh, thermal barrier system consists of a kind of microporous insulation and a phase chain material layer. So generally, microporous insulation slows down the heat passage, uh, while the phase chain material layer absorbs the heat so that the temperature of the data logger cannot go up to 70 degree or above 100 degree Celsius, depending on the battery type. So in these two figures, you can see there are two types of a barrier boxes. One is the TBB045 and another one is the TBB180 model. So TBB045 is basically used in the PCB uh, assembly lines in reflow ovens where or a soldering process where you want to get the accurate temperature of your PCB is, is the soldering is done properly or not or your PCB profile is going up uh, at a proper cure line or not. Like uh, in PCBs, generally duration is approximately 9 to 8 minutes for 250 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Celsius. So this barrier box comes with a data logger and a silicon sponge for like uh, no heat loss and some microporous insulations. So this is very compact, only 45 mm height is there. Although uh, this process can, the, the process temperature for this is 300 degrees Celsius at nine minutes. Where other is TBB 180, which is used in the paint and powder coating lines where you want to measure uh, the temperature of your product is your product is cured properly or not like sometimes what happens is like in each and every product uh, powder coated product a particular temperature profile need to be followed so so for the quality of the product suppose a product needs to be cured at 200 degrees celsius for 15 minutes so generally uh, people uh, do they set their own temperature to 200 degrees celsius but it does not mean that the product is going at 200 degrees celsius sometimes it goes to 160 or 180 degrees celsius only so that reflects in the quality of the product. So what you can do is you can use these therm uh, barrier boxes uh, up to 400 degrees Celsius and connect the thermocouple to the product. So you can get the accurate temperature of your product along the process. So these are the different models we have. Until now, we have developed five type of models. Basically, four type of models. I can say TBB 320 is still in development. So TBB45 is for the reflow ones and uh, glass toughening processes and low temperature tempering processes where it's duration very short. Like you can see 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 9 minutes at 300 degrees Celsius. And in this barrier box, the approximate is approximately 3 kg and uh, height is 45 mm. While other boxes TBB135 and TBB180. These two models are used in the uh, paint powder coating lines and the dechromate and teflon coatings and non-stick coatings where temperature can go up to 300 degrees Celsius. So TBB 135 basically used in automotive painting, painting, painting lines and other applications also. So where temperature can go up to 300 degrees Celsius in 80 minutes. While a TBB 180 is also for the coating lines and low, temper, low temperature tempering processes where temperature can go up to 500 degrees Celsius. And coating lines also where temperature can go up to 300 degrees Celsius and for longer duration, say up to four hours. So these two types of boxes are basically targeted for powder coating and paint curing lines and also in the aluminium sections uh, powder coating like in aluminium industry uh, people uh, used to powder coat their aluminium product for getting a proper a good quality of product these pro products are also used in these type of applications 
so tb45 is in the, used in the reflow ovens and glass toughening processes tbb135 and 180 is for low temperature tempering and powder coating and paint coating applications and tbb250 is for vacuum annealing furnaces and high temperature furnaces where temperature can go up to 800 degrees celsius these times are reflects the cycle time of the process so you can see like 5 to 100 degrees celsius uh, at uh, 250 the height of the box is 250 mm here we also provide the heat sink and the approximate weight of this barrier box would be 35 kg so uh, the duration for 200 degrees celsius is 2 or 12 hours 300 degrees celsius is for 8 hours and for 500 degrees celsius it is 5 hours so these are the uh, cycle time so what what i mean by cycle time is the from start of the furnace to the end of the furnace so uh, the you can say like 500 degrees celsius for 5 hours in tbb to 45 is the optimum time so this is the our this is our uh, software version of smart track 10 so in general you data loggers you just store your data but in this software you can store your data and convert into a meaningful information we also do provide a one page one page pdf report for your convenience so that a person can know how his process is Uh, optimized or not by seeing a single page report so here you can see in the first image you can see there are different types of triggering mode start and stop date and time and temperature trigger mode and uh, there are in temperature triggering mode there are different modes start falling start rising so you can choose any of them any of two any two of them 10 types of thermocouple you can select and deselect scanning rate can be from 0.1 to 1 hour and here is the graph of our tus like uh, how you are uh, how your profile is uh, of your product along the furnace along along your process so here is the uh, like a one page pdf report so this is like our case study for pcbs like we have done one industrial testing for this so in that process they need like uh, temperature of their pcb for 250 degrees at uh, at approximately 130 minutes but uh, like when what th this product helps in like uh, to optimize their track speed so initially when when we do this uh, track speed optimization for them so what they have done got that they wanted their product to remain at 2, 230 degrees celsius for 90 seconds but eventually their track speed speed was very slow and they are getting approximately uh, 230 uh, 2 minutes 30 seconds which is very large and it is also pro affecting their product quality so what we have suggested them to decrease their tracking uh, track speed or or uh, decrease the oven set oven cut off temperature so here you can see like the yellow highlighted part shows how much time they are uh, the product is in the uh, zone and also each and every solder process also give, give us the ideal uh, curve for their process so in this you can uh, imagine track speed and oven this multi now accessory for the paint and powder coating industries we are giving different types of magnetic sensors minimax sensor and sheet clamp sensors so so we have different type of uh, sensors uh, clamp sensors for powder and paint coating industries like for ferrous materials we have magnetic clamp sensors minimax sensor and sheet metal clamp sensors so magnetic clamp sensor is its speciality is it can be clamped on a ferrous part and its probe can be moved in any way to the product another is the minimax sensor where you you don't have a space for a magnetic clamp sensor then you can directly attach this minimax sensor to the part ferrous part and another one is the sheet clamp sensor where your part is non magnetic or it is like aluminum part or or it is a sheet metal part so you can clamp this second sensor to the product and you can get the temperature of the of the product along the process so these are for low temperature processes for paint curing industries from up to 260 degree celsius but for high temperature we also provide different types of thermocouple mineral insulated and ceramic insulated aluminum fiber insulated thermocouples which can go up to 1000 degree 1000 degree celsius temperature but these magnetic sensors is only for the paint and powder coating industries so as i previously mentioned the uh, now comes the application part of different types of barrier so temperature and time are the two major variables in the pcb soldering that must be carefully managed for a successful result 
so in order to get a accurate profile of your product this tv b045 uh, barrier box can help you uh, this is the schematic view like how we are attached the thermocouples so basically these thermocouples can be uh, uh, soldered to the pcb or it, it can be stick to the pcb by a kapton tape which is a high temperature tape and these uh, thermocouples are then connected to the data logger and which is then put it in, inside the uh, barrier box tbb045 then this barrier box is kept inside the reflow ovens drying or you can say drying ovens and then you can analyze your result and increase or decrease the tracking speed of your process now the second application is the pain profiling system of ours in which we provide two types of barrier boxes tbb135 and tbb180 see the quality of paint always depends on the temperature and time like in all these applications i am saying saying one one thing uh, again and again that temperature and time uh, plays an important role in the quality of the products if it does not uh, follow a proper cure which which is an ideal for a cure then the quality of product can be seen and uh, uh, here we are also providing magnetic clamp sensors so you can attach the sensors to the product and you can get your temperature profile of your product in the oven so this is the like a stationary kind of oven but uh, in like you can also use these in the conveyor line where your product is hanged in the conveyor and you can also hang your barrier box tbb135 which is very compact to your conveyor line and then you can uh, put those uh, product and the data logger inside your oven and then after one or two hours you can get those data in your software so like tbb135 is up to, up to 250 degrees celsius but for high temperature and high duration tbb180 is the best one like for dichromatic coatings and ptfe coatings and also for the low temperature tempering processes these barrier boxes can be used other is for the tbb250 model where you can get accurate temperature of your furnaces uh, of your product at higher temperatures so right now like uh, uh, in heat treatment processes the cooling rate is also an important part so like depending upon the cooling rate structure of your part changes like martin side bainite toughness and hardness of your product changes so this tbb us uh, tbb250 model can help you in proper temperature profiling of your product so tbb250 is basically for 500 degree applications now this is the clean temperature monitoring system so in clean temperature monitoring up to 1000 degree to 15 degree celsius temperature can be achieved but inside the under the clean cut the temperature can go up to 250 to 300 degree celsius so what we will do is put the barrier boxes inside this clean car and from those barrier boxes the temperature thermocouples will be connected to the, uh, the sanitary wares or the tiles where you want to know the profile color of your product so from this uh, you can save a whole lot of your batch uh, of your product from getting a failure because over baking or under baking can lead to many issues like pouring and under baking and over baking which will lead to product failure 